What's up guys? We're back. Another vlog. Here we are. We are in Glen Helen. It is our last Lucasville race of the year. Pretty bummed, but we're gonna go out for our first practice right now. Just kind of shake down the truck, see what we got, and then take you along for the rest of the weekend. What are we vlogging about? I don't know, you just talk. All right. Go. All right. Welcome to Corey Cruzman's vlog. I think I'm starting a vlog today. Uh, I'm just going to talk about my friend Bryce. He just ran the UTV Nationals. Heard he ran fifth, but by the end of the week, there's a possibility to move up to the top three. Very impressed with him. And now we're here racing Christopher for uh, the last race of the season. And uh, hopefully, we can uh, change our luck a little bit and be able to uh, win these last two races and uh, go out of here with some style. guys I'm sitting here editing right now and I feel like I need to like narrate I think it's gonna give you guys a lot more kind of detail of what all happened this weekend was full of ups and downs so let's hop right in so right now we had just finished up our first practice the guys are just getting the thing back in tip-top shape to go out for a second practice So we had just finished our second practice. The guys are scrambling right now, you can see, to get the truck back um, in perfect shape because our next practice or third run of the day is qualifying. For qualifying, you gotta go hard right out of the gate, which I did, because you only have three laps to make it happen, which sounds like a lot, but in all reality it's not when there's so many variables in off-road racing. So go out first lap and I end up crashing the truck. So a caution comes out because I just rolled and I go into the pits. Um, the whole team, they go in, double check, make sure everything looks good. Everything looks good, so I go back out. And I know I only got two more laps to make this happen. I already threw away my first one. Second lap, charging hard, feeling pretty good. You know, still a little shaken up that I just rolled. And a tire falls off. Um, I think it was due to the whole rollover thing. And it just, once I got put some more load on it, it blew apart. So the tire falls off completely, which kind of works out in our favor because a yellow flag comes out once again. Usually in qualifying, like you have no chance if you go into the pits, like your day's over. But luckily these yellow flags were buying us time. So we get a yellow flag because my tire's out in the middle of the track, rolling around. So I limp my way back into the pits. The guys change it really quick. Boom. Now we're on our third and final lap of qualifying and I just go out there I'm still a little timid and end up still qualifying third which I am so pumped you know we had so many ups and downs in this small little qualifying thing to come with a third out of like 15 something trucks um, I was pumped Looking for a mop. <laughs> Checking for cracks. Yeah, homie decided to cartwheel this hot rod today, so we're doing some quick inspection. I'm a certified crack inspector. 
not a plumber edition. Decided to rip the tire off the heat too. Yeah, I'm not sure um, how he did that or why, but um, we were able to get a spare put on her and finish qualifying at least. Barrel twice, flat tire, and so qualifying third. Bryce, what did you do? This is what it feels like. I'm gonna come back for a minute. Wagon. He's running. He's running. That's actually pretty How's good. How's it feel, Bryce? Wait, are you actually leaving? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> Dude, they're all looking. <laughs> that makes it even better. They're all fit. <laughs> Breaking rocks in prison. Surprised they let you this far off without a leash. Now just pound the rock. I know. It's like a beginner's type racetrack. Gotta get the snacks. Snacks, snacks, snacks. It's a perfect size. Yeah. So like I have one welding. She is VP of Richard. Yeah. How much armor did you do? <laughs> a lot of armor. Fire, a lot of armor fire. I feel like Bryce is snorting armor fire. Do you see his hair sticking up? I mean, yeah, his, his, his hair just went straight up. Dude. It's got that armor spike. All right, we're heading out. First race of the weekend. Yeah. Pretty excited. Starting second row inside, which honestly is probably my favorite spot at this track. So, should be pretty good. And I got my pick bar. Nutrition is key, eh? Yeah. All good, Jimmy? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, start your engines!
it shows on the track too. If he's out on that racetrack, he's normally in the top three. Time and time again, you can see those shiny parts on the track. It's a little bit of moisture. Gonna work this track in. It is Brock Hager. Brock Hager, Ronnie Anderson, Christian McCordy, your top three. In this. All right, guys. Quick interruption. This week's giveaway. I'm gonna be giving away three lucky people some team merch, and addition to that, some K&N gift cards. I got two $25 ones, and one lucky guy will get a $50 one. Literally, all you have to do, subscribe to my YouTube, then go drop a comment down below with an Instagram handle or Facebook handle so I can contact you. All right, as you can see, running a solid third place right now. Pretty pumped. Truck is definitely fast. Just battling with Ronnie, just trying to figure out where I'm gonna make my move. Unfortunately, a yellow flag came out, and this is kind of when it all started going downhill. All right, so it went green. As you can see right now, starting off good, going down into turn two. Unfortunately, another driver just clearly took me out. Uh, don't know the reasoning. I personally, I know I have my theories, but uh, yeah, just took me out. It was a bummer. Kind of cost us our day right there. Uh, when you when you're up there battling for me, then someone just takes you out for no reason. It's really a bummer. So we kept our heads high though and tried to get back on track and work our way. So they're going to get shuffled way back in the field. Here comes Cole Maver now working on Mason Prater. Looks like a tug of war out there. Looks like something we'd see on On the Edge for a second. My goodness. So I started working my way through the field, and unfortunately, that same driver who had just taken me out hit me again, causing me to drop back again. Uh, after this, Lucas finally made a call to black flag him for the first incident. Um, I think the second incident was just a cherry on top. Uh, it was definitely disappointing, you know, if you have a fast truck like that. But. So a yellow flag comes out, and if you don't know what a yellow flag is, it's basically when there's an incident on the tracks, so they slow everyone down, and we are supposed to go at a steady pace behind the pace truck. Um, at this point, I was just following the pace truck, or just following the car in front of me, just doing my own thing and all of a sudden I got hit extremely hard it's like full on whiplash don't recommend it was not fun um, for no reason uh, under a caution which in in my book would have been an instant kick that driver out but uh, unfortunately that's not what happened apparently he couldn't see I don't know I wasn't there uh, I just got the hit when he did hit me, though, it did cause a lot of damage on our truck, which is it's just a bummer to have damage done under a caution flag. But, so, continuing on, about to go green from this caution, the same driver was still behind me, and he proceeded to smoke me again before the flag even went green, destroying even more back of my truck since... In the first incident, he ripped his bumper off and my bumper off. So now it was just like raw metal just ramming into things. Um, and it caused a lot of damage to our truck. It knocked a battery out of the truck, a cooler, dented our fuel cell. It was ultimately very destructive. And, but, and in the process of him destroying my truck, on this restart, he picked my wheels up. So I can no longer go once the flag is free. After we finally all piled up and whatnot, I did get knocked down and was able to start making my way through the pack. So sharp on the restart. Nailed the gearing, nailed the setup. And we got problems. Look at that corner. That corner has So just to add to all of this chaos, as I was going through turn one, after just getting plowed or whatnot, all of a sudden a piece of a fiberglass from another driver's car, about perfect size. Went right on our screen. We have a rock screen to protect large rocks from coming in at us. And this thing was wedged perfectly there, it seemed like. And 
I could not see a thing. Normally, like, if your hood flops up, you can kind of have, you have some, um, you still have some visuals ahead of you. This thing was straight on my visor. Could not see a thing. And as you can see, I'm just trying to fight to get it off while racing other people. And after finally a few corners, it did fall off. It was a little hectic because I barely could see anything and I was kind of just holding on. Um, here on out, after it just seemed like it was never going to end, we were getting bounced around with other cars and the truck was having issues since it just got hit, um, damaging our oil cooler, so things were getting hot, so I was just trying to get to the finish and ultimately I just kind of stayed calm and just got my way to the finish and ended up fifth for the day, which, um, you know, I'll actually take it. It was just kind of a grueling race and I normally don't want anything but a win, but after that, I mean, to get a fifth, it definitely helped us out in the points. Dead, I'm gonna start with the generator. And when I looked up there, in line, there was smoke. Now, uh, one of our head security, Victoria, she said she smelled something hot up there earlier. So it got me thinking, could be on fire. So I went walking up there, and there was a fire. So I came flying down here, grabbed the red rocket, come follow me. And I came up here, and there was flames coming out from back there. You go in there, you see the melted battery. Yeah, there's flames in there. So I just went with the fire extinguisher, we got it out. Hero, thank you. I'm the voice of Scooby Doo. I didn't hear it. <laughs> Bro, if I cannot find Barry, Scooby. Always laying around. I know. So I'm a freaking lazy son of a gun. What's that guy? Get, get it. It's Saturday morning. We have no qualifying this morning. We're going straight to racing. Um, so I qualified yesterday for this race. So I'll be starting second. Pretty good. Starting next to Ronnie Anderson and got Brock Hager behind me. So um, it's good. Good pack. We're going to just go forward. For the most famous words in motorsports, drivers, start your engines. I think that's why you're so calm and comfortable. there 
So you gotta be careful. You don't wanna pop one of those tires off the beat lock and cost yourself the race. It's Ronnie coming through this little chicane one more time. Gonna click off the first lap after that mandatory competition caution. stages in the race, didn't you, Chris? Oh, uh, yeah, I knew Ronnie wasn't going to give it up that easy, um, and I knew he was going to be coming back swinging. Nice job, buddy. It was a lot of fun out there. It's cool racing with guys like Ronnie and Brock, where they got so much respect, and it, it was just so much fun just going back and forth, and I was just trying to focus on Ford, but I was struggling a little, and I knew Ronnie was coming in hot on the last lap, and he said, don't leave it open, and uh, Ronnie still found that hole, which, but it was good racing. It was fun, and it's so much fun when you get up here and you're just, just having a good time. Okay, it is time to pick our lucky winner from last week's giveaway. Boom, we got it right here. Let's do it. Random YouTube comments. Drop the link right there. Boom. Um, Where is it? Start raffle winner. Let's see who we got. Let's see who this week's is. Alex Watson. Congrats, Alex. You're winning at Amazon Echo. Thanks for entering. It worked a little. 
All right, that is a wrap. Pretty pumped, just wrapped up, got our last win. We started off the season here with a win and just finished it off. It was a season of a lot of ups and downs, but we started off on a high, finished on a high. And I just gotta throw a huge shout out to my whole team. I put them through a lot this weekend especially and the whole season. So thank them for giving me such an amazing truck. And this Ford Ranger Pro Light was so much fun to drive today. And it was just me and Ronnie Anderson just out doing our thing. So pumped to get the win and uh, wrap up the season. We also wrapped up the season second in points, which I am so stoked because like I said, this season you guys saw was, we had all kinds of stuff. Yesterday, I mean yesterday I was ready to go home. I was bummed. So to finish it off, as always, you guys know the deal. Hit that subscribe button right here. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you thought. You know, there's some up and downs. I need your opinion. You know, did, did, we, did, we, did we pull it off? I mean, I think the wind kind of sealed off the deal, but uh, we'll see you next week, Wednesday, 945.